248 words to sum up so much, so eloquently. And it is well worth always remembering these words and the fact that a lot of brave people have fought, have bled, have died for freedom. So I was thinking about this, um, I was thinking back to when I started high school, Beechcroft High School, the first year it was open, eighth grade, and there was talk of blowing up the buses, turning them over, setting them on fire, shooting at them. Desegregation. The courts had ordered that you had to desegregate the schools, and there were people who didn't want it. They wanted separate but equal, which means that we separate people off into their own place, but make sure they have the same level of education. And then uh, today, not today, it's a Sunday, tomorrow, I could drive back past Beechcroft see people of all kinds of ethnic backgrounds walking together, talking together, best friends, dating, and not thinking twice about what color the skin is. The same dedication, devotion, went into people fighting for freedom in the Civil War, went into those who marched for equality, <coughs> bled, suffered, died for that equality, went into somebody who, who just didn't want to sit on the back of the bus. people have struggled for those rights and freedoms that so many of us take for granted, that so many of us ignore. And as President Lincoln said, it is up to each of us, each of us, to continue that devotion. Keep an eye on our country. This is not the politician's country, no matter what political party may be in power, at what office, at what time, whatever. It's not their <coughs> country. It's our country. And it's for each of us to be willing to give that sacrifice. You don't have to march into a entrenched bob wire machine gun nest, nor do you have to set one up. <laughs> <laughs> but if you see somebody's rights being taken away, you shouldn't be quiet about it. Not that I really have to worry about this group being quiet. <laughs> but please always remember that if they take away your neighbor's rights, yours are next. So you better stand up for them. You better stand up for what's right. There are, <coughs> there's been a lot of people around the world through history who wanted to destroy what we're trying to build here. And I think that 
by the way, is an important point we must never forget. We're still building America. America is a, is a project that's never completed. <coughs> One of the most brilliant things the creators of the Constitution and our laws did was to put in place the power to change. We can add things to the Constitution if we need to. We can take things out if we need to. Remove amendments. We have the power to change things. We have the power to say, that's not right. Women aren't allowed to vote, that's not right. Let's pass an amendment to the Constitution. That was a fight that occurred in the 1920s. It wasn't really that long ago in history. But do you know there are places in India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, where women aren't allowed to own property? There was a banker in, I believe it was northern India, who set up a bank only for women. Only women were allowed to go into the bank, only them were allowed to create bank accounts, he would get loans for them, help them buy property. Not only did he get death threats, but the local government wanted to try to pass laws to stop him. We may argue, we may shout, we may fight. We may go to war. <coughs> Although I have to admit, I am fairly proud of our little <coughs> country. 200 plus years, one civil war. Most countries are lucky to have gone 20 years without a civil war. Some countries, their civil war has been lasting. 20 years. But we usually find a way to make it work. We usually try to find a way to make it better. And as I said, there are people all over the world throughout history that have tried to stop us, destroy us, tell us how wrong we are. You know what? It was never about us. It's about them. You come up with a system that's failing, you can't come out and say, well, we tried. I was wrong. Dictatorship didn't work. Let's try kinghood instead. Isn't it much easier to come out and say, ah, it's America's fault. They did it to us. Lousy democracy. We're just a strange, odd little country. I still firmly do believe that anybody can grow up to be president. Keita, that's your job. Be president. I'd probably vote for you. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We have a country where well, we're not perfect, but there definitely are still areas of bigotry and prejudice. It's not just white people all colors, but a country that tries to fix its problems, we struggle and strain, but we try. We may fuss and feud, but we work together. We feud and 
and fuss, and we may have our problems, and we may have things that we still need to change and to fix, and freedoms that we may need to make sure are still there. But when we pull together, when we work together as a country, we can work miracles. Absolute miracles. carry with us, to remember at all times. We may be nuts. <coughs> Other people may not understand us. We may feud and fuss and fight and carry on with one another. We generally try to find a way to do the right thing. We generally try to find a way to bring freedom to others. When we work side by side with each other, it's stunning what we can accomplish. Absolutely amazing. And working together, we can make sure that freedom extends to all Americans stays in place, that it's never taken from us. Because trust me, if 300 million people all say they want the same thing, it's going to happen. people who can be handed broomsticks for training to charge machine gun nests less than a year later or can come together in horrible emergencies. September 11th, most recent horrible example. The footage of that day of how many people rushed in to help that's what was stunning. <clears throat> when we work together, nothing's impossible. So carry that in your hearts and your minds. That dedication, that devotion, struggle and strain, fuss and feud, argue though we might, Generally work towards the good. You know, it's that old saying. If it's me against you, it's going to be me. If it's us against them, they better look out. Pulling together. Ah. America the Beautiful.